our next guest is an up-and-coming star with a story that is what dreams are made of. Patrick J. Adams plays a lead role in the hit television series Suits, which is into its second season. He's also guest starred in many popular TV shows such as Lost and acted alongside heavyweights such as Dustin Hoffman in HBO series Luck. But it has not always been smooth sailing for him. The earlier days saw the actor fired from an acting job as well, but he's back at work now and he joins us this morning. We say good morning to Patrick. Good morning. Good morning. I, I think our intro sort of embarrassed you a bit. <laughs> I, I saw you squirming a bit. About what? About the part that I got fired from a job? Or? No, the part that, you know, it's almost what dreams are made of. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just funny to be here because this is what dreams are made of. You know, uh -huh. To be in Singapore, I, I, do, I was fired from a job uh, not long before Suits happened, so to get fired from that and then end up here in this city supporting a show that I love working on. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. What happened with that? Um, uh, it was Friends with Benefits, I believe. Yes, it was a show it? called yeah. Friends with Benefits. It ended up disappearing. Uh, it's a really common story in L.A. People get a job, and then um, you know you get to a table read, and then suddenly everybody just starts getting fired one by one. So uh, I, it was the wrong job for me. It was not the right gig, mm -hmm. and I learned that quickly. And of course, it took me a little while afterwards to sort of realize that it had been the wrong job. Um, and then immediately after that, I received this script, and uh, and we started shooting it. And now here I am. Did you imagine that right after that, which probably was pretty low for you, mm -hmm. that you would you know come up and surge high with suits? I mean, I always hoped, you know. But for a little while there, of course, after you lose a job, you think that might be the last thing that you ever do. Right. So I started thinking that maybe I'd do other things, become a photographer, you know, move out of LA. And then this script came along, which is the story of a young guy who's down on his luck, and you know he's in trouble and doesn't really believe in himself anymore and it was an opportunity for me to express all of those feelings that I had just sort of you know been feeling and uh, and I felt like I could just sort of put it all into the work and and it seems to have connected with people so the so. character spoke to you very much so yeah like I said he was uh, he's somebody who was really struggling to sort of rekindle that faith in himself mm. that he had lost and uh, and so there's that great scene in the pilot where he's talking to Harvey and asking him for you know, this one chance, this, right. this chance to sort of prove himself again. And uh, so in the audition, I got to just go and, and sit in that room and ask for that chance from these people, and, and they gave it to me. So almost playing as your real life situation. It's only exactly. a nice way to uh, step back into career, dropping Indeed, out of one yeah. show and straight into another. But uh, I mean, you have once described uh, your career as having a lot of happy accidents. Definitely. And, I mean, this is just another one. This is it? just another one. I'm sort of beginning to believe that life is just a bunch of uh, happy accidents, but uh, especially acting, you know, you can never you never really understand why something's happening and if you focus too much on the negative and you you know you just focus on the fact that you got fired from a job and that that, that one didn't work out then it's going to keep you from the next opportunity and and in Los Angeles and being an actor I mean that opportunity can come in so many shapes or sizes so um, luckily mine came pretty quickly with this show but I, I've seen people turn around you know from unemployment to you know winning Academy Awards in a year so it, you never know do you see this as uh, a big break for you is this what you would Absolutely. call a big break? Absolutely, yes. Yeah? This is the big break. No, I've, I've, I've been having the time of my life. It's a lot of work. It's more work yes. than I ever would have imagined when your dreams come true. But yes, I mean, I'm here in Singapore talking to you. So this is a, it's an incredible, incredible gift. How but, are you coping with this um, success and stardom? I mean, because... Okay. Maybe. I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's it's strange. It's strange You're to suddenly. Well. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm trying yeah. to. Uh, it's strange. You know, you go from 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 having nobody know who you are, or what you do, and you have to beg for work from everybody. And now they're, you know, afforded. I'm afforded some new opportunities, and people are sort of aware of what I'm doing. So yeah. it's a real gift. It's nice, it, especially to come to a different country and see that other people. And are may I just mention that your your role is just also earned you a nomination for the Screen yes. Actors Guild Award. Yes. That's after the drama series. That must have been like heaven. That was, well, heaven. It was probably the most intimidating part uh -huh. of the process. I mean, going up against some people whose work I respect so much and to sort of find myself in that same world, it was a little bit like that. You know, within a year, my life got turned around so quickly, but it was such an honor to be in that room with those people. Mm -hmm. And it really made me feel like I was beginning to find my place in this, in this business. So it was a great night. And obviously, nice to get a bit of uh, recognition. And talking about people that you respect, you worked alongside some heavy hitters. We yeah. mentioned right. Dustin Hoffman just Hoffman. now. Uh, yes. Tell us a bit about that. That was incredible. That was right after I shot the pilot of Suits. I got back, and we didn't know if the show was going to go to series or not. And so I came off feeling very confident from this this pilot, feeling like I knew what I was doing. And I auditioned for this show and, and, and got it right away, I think, just because I was feeling so confident. And uh, I have to say that 
working with those three guys, Michael Gambon and, and Dustin Hoffman and Dennis Farina, uh, over the course of about six weeks was probably the best acting class I could have ever had in my life. I mean, really, those are the, the most professional guys I've ever met in my life. So they put me through my paces. They were hard on me. They really pushed my buttons. But, uh, but I feel like I came out a much better actor. Uh -huh. yeah. And you've always wanted to uh, to be acting, right? Since yeah. you were very, Since very young. Since I was young. very little, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw Back to the Future and I thought, <laughs> I, I want to do that for a little bit. <laughs> really? That's my idea. Yeah. And where you are today, you think, this is the right decision. This is what I want. It is my dream. Like I said, life is full of happy accidents. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, something might point me in a different direction at some point. But this is very much what I'm, I'm feeling good doing these days. And I feel very lucky to be doing it. Well, you did mention that you were considering photography just yes. now yeah. when, when that job with Friends with Benefits didn't work out. Is there some kind of passion there? I had survived taking pictures in LA for a long time, right. taking headshots of people when I, when I wasn't getting acting jobs. And then um, very much a passionate photographer. In fact, that's what I do with all my spare time here in Singapore and while I'm traveling as I'm out with my camera. I have it with me now. I take it everywhere. Uh, and we were out yesterday wandering the city. So yeah, it's, it's a, de definitely a second love. I like being behind the camera. It's a little less pressure <laughs> to relax a little more. I mean, going back to those happy accents, do you think that being at, uh, to be in the industry, you, you do need uh, a bit of luck to mm. get into it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I, but I think, like anything, like doing what you guys do, you know, it involves, uh, I, I like to think of it as you have to do a lot of work to prepare for that moment of luck. Right. Um, so, you know, it's not that it's just luck. Uh, for some people it is, but I think it, the rewards end up not being as good for those people anyway. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think you've got to really work hard to prepare for that moment when something blessed kind of happens and then you have to have the courage to kind of run with the ball when it does. Uh, so that's sort of how I feel about the business at this point. You know? uh -huh. But you definitely need something, something looking over you because, uh, because there are a lot of pitfalls too. Well, you're doing Susan. Susan's doing pretty well now into season two. Uh, we'll be going on to season three, of course. But sure. is there a, a, a role that, you know, since young you've been wanting to be uh, an actor, is there a role that you've been dreaming about? That's that a good question. You can't play Marty McFly. <laughs> I, I could. We could remake it. Or, uh, <laughs> or actually, my girlfriend's father created a, a show called Quantum Leap back in the right. day. Do you remember Quantum Leap? Yeah. yeah. So I always dream of maybe, uh, maybe asking him if I can take that on. I think that would be a great film. Um, there are lots of characters, though. I, I, I love history, too. So I'm reading a lot about Thomas Edison right now. And I think that's mm. a fascinating guy. So there's tons of people. I, I just really into characters that. Uh, uh, you sort of, sort of, you know, rise up against great odds and do great things. I think that's that's the sort of stuff I want to play. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's been great having you on the show. Thank, Thank you so much, much for having indeed, me. Uh, yeah, really for joining appreciate us. it. Thank you. And please watch Suits. I think we're on Diva Universal Mondays at, at 8 p.m. So. Indeed, so. Yes, yeah. people do watch Suits. Go check that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for Patrick. having me. Patrick J. Adams speaking about the ups and downs of his career and also the new season of Suits, which he is starring in.